Hi everyone, it's Rob Langford with Yacht BC Yacht Sales. Today I'm doing a walkthrough video of a 52 West Bay named Next Dance. Uh, the 52s are a lesser known model of the famous West Bay Yard, but they're built on the exact same hull as the 58, just a little bit shorter. So they have the beam of the 58 and the sea keeping of the 58 and all of the interior features of the 58, which make them a spectacular boat. Here you can see wide walk forward decks, stout stainless steel handrails, uh, anchor platform, windlass. This boat underwent a six month refit at West Bay in 2021, and it looks like a much newer boat. I can give you a detailed list of the work that was done if you wanna reach out to me, but uh, let's go inside and take a look at the boat and you can see for yourself. In the cockpit, one of the neat features the owners love is this sort of summer station out here with a three burner propane grill. You've also got a sink on the starboard side, so they do a lot of cooking on the outside of the boat in the summer. It's also got a flip up docking station. So entering the salon, you can see a lot of the refit work that was done on the boat. You've got all new uh, carpet, furniture, all the exterior wood surfaces were refinished, completely new galley, custom countertops, beautiful built-in L-shaped settee, brand new fridge, built-in TV with a hydraulic lift, brand new chairs, uh, there's the electrical panel and inverter controls in the aft corner. The boat in the salon in the pilot house feels like a brand new boat. This massive fridge, double doors with freezer on the bottom, electric oven with the electric cooktop, trash compactor, double sink with the uh, drop-in cutouts to make additional counter space. You can see the bright windows, again, very much the feel of a 58 West Bay. And then moving forward past this uh, area with the microwave, you reach an upper pilot house, which is a fantastic feature of these boats. You've got doors, both port and starboard. Here you have a flip up table for guests or uh, while they're underway, or they use it as a dining table. Built-in furniture was raised about seven inches to provide a better sight line from most of the 58s. And then the accommodation spaces are forward and down the spiral staircase. So you've got an aft master cabin, center berth, uh, queen, full queen size, lots of cabinets, lots of storage, all new mattresses for all three staterooms on the boat. This is a big space that every owner would feel comfortable in. A big stand-up shower, long vanity, lots of storage, brand new toilets, hoses, holding tank. So much of the work done on this boat uh, that you can't see was done during the refit. Again, I've got all the details. The guest day head also has a shower. Again, new toilet. It's a very comfortable space for your guests. And then across from it, you've got the ubiquitous bunk room. Uh, there's a lot of gear that we've just had to move to video the boat here, but you can see that there's two bunks there for children or for storage. And then the master, I'm sorry, the VIP berth up in the bow, a couple of hanging lockers, lots of bright uh, light coming from the overhead hatches, opening ports. Moving up to the flybridge, you've got two ways to get there. You've got the exterior steps here or from the interior of the pilot house. It's a rainy day in Vancouver, so we didn't take the covers off, but you've got a built-in settee with a table on the port side, a couple of chairs for the captain and the mate. Here you've got the davit for the dinghy. And it's a nice area up here. You've got a radar arch, your Starlink. This boat has been to Mexico and Alaska on her own bottom, which I think's speaks for the hull and the sea keeping and then one of the great features of course for west base is this massive stand-up engine room you've got the generator on the port entrance as you come in and these twin man engines gauges uh, just everything you need stabilizers and then a separate washer dryer uh, the boat is up to date on maintenance and uh, it's a clean boat that I think you really need to get aboard if you're in the market for any sized West Bay 5852. Please give me a call. Let's discuss how we can get you on this boat. Thank you.